South Africans love barbecues and summertime is barbecue season. I'm preparing a barbecue with an Indian twist. On my menu today we've got paneer tikka, sikh kebab, we've got naan bread and then a strawberry surprise. Let's get started with the paneer tikka. The ingredients are paneer, I've made this with 4 litres of milk, fresh cream, ground cardamom, turmeric, ajwain or karam seeds, red chilli powder, white pepper and then we've got chickpea flour. Let's get started with the marinade. Fresh cream going into the mixing bowl. Add the cardamom, pinch of turmeric going in, the karam seeds or ajwain, it's about a teaspoon, red chilli powder, white pepper and then the chickpea flour. Stir these ingredients through. Use the back of a wooden spoon and just mush that into a paste. Now, let's slice the paneer into chunks. Quite large pieces so they don't break up. Now these are going onto the barbecue so we don't want them to crumble. Pop the paneer into the batter. Just turn them around quite lightly to coat them in this batter sort of marinade. I've greased some aluminium foil and I'm going to pop the paneer onto the foil. Now make sure your paneer is quite firm for this recipe. If you come up with a batch of soft paneer, just leave it unwrapped in the refrigerator so the extra moisture dries up. Now we're going to season with some salt. You can add some black pepper as well if you like. For me, just salt. Now let's wrap this up. I love the chargrill flavour on the paneer and those smoky flavours, but I don't want the paneer to stick to the grid and burn. So I'm going to cook it on this aluminium foil and just drizzle with a bit of oil so it soaks up all those lovely flavours. The paneer is now ready. Let's pop it into the refrigerator. It's time for a clean up and then onto the naan bread. I've already made up some naan dough and this is what it looks like after it's been resting for an hour. Let me show you how to do it. First ingredient going into a mixing bowl, the flour. Next, in goes hot milk. Water going in, now this is hot water. Greek yogurt. Sugar. Yeast. Bicarb. And baking powder. Lastly, season with salt. Turn the mixer on, on a low speed. Last ingredient, oil going in. The dough has come together. Now get it out the mixing bowl. Now let's work with the dough that's rested already. Now scoop it out of the mixing bowl. You can see it's about doubled in size. And now just lightly flour the work surface. And as it rests, it becomes slightly sticky and very pliable. Use a little flour on your hands and on the work surface and knead it once again. Now I break this up into about six portions. Naan is a sticky bread. It's actually supposed to stick onto the sides of a clay oven. Made them slightly smaller today. So I've ended up with seven pieces of dough. Roll these into balls and leave them on a greased plate. Now onto the sea kebab. You'll need 900 grams of lamb mince, fresh coriander, chopped onion, green chili, ginger paste, black pepper, cumin powder and two eggs. First thing, Let's crack these eggs and beat them lightly. Pour in the egg mixture. Next, in goes the ginger and garlic paste. Green chilli. And the chopped onion. Work these ingredients together quite gently. Season with salt. 
one final mix. Now let's shape this into the kebabs. I'm using some fatty lamb mince for that and this gives you a really tender kebab so I'm not putting these on skewers. Now don't make these too thin or they will burn. That's the last one done, we're ready to barbecue. I've got my paneer tikka and the sea kebab ready for the barbecue. Pop these onto the hot coals. The weather's cooled down slightly, which makes it perfect for a barbecue. Now let's pour some oil over that. Ooh, I think that was a bit too much oil, but now the fat's melting off those kebabs. Now let's get the paneer on. Paneer going onto the coals, little oil going onto the paneer, just to prevent the paneer from drying out. Now when the fat starts to melt in that lamb mince and it sends up clouds of smoke, giving you that lovely charcoal flavor. Our paneer is bubbling away. Now for that naan bread. Here's the dough that's been resting. Now these have really, really risen quite well and they've sort of joined each other on the plate. Flatten it slightly, it's a really soft dough. Some flour going onto your fingertips and on your hands and then just stretch that into a round. Let's pop these onto the grill. Starts to bubble up. Flip it over. A little melted butter going on top. That's my barbecue done. We've got the paneer tikka, the sea kebab, and the beautiful naan bread. For me, it's time to put my feet up.